What's up guys, David Wanton 797 here and I am back in this race up against none other than Rory Alexander, or here he is. Now this race was the group one race at Monza and as we come to the line, this is a pretty good one that sadly doesn't end as great as it could have. Away on the first straight, I'm starting in fourth and we see straight away some people getting in a tangle that we're able to avoid. Remembering that cold tires, I somehow managed to make the corner while P1 and P2 do not. And within the first chicane, I am in the lead of the race. Coming into the second chicane, I do overbreak myself a little bit and go a little bit narrow there, but thankfully I don't get a penalty. I can hear the Mazda is very close, something for the rotary engine is on my right. I let him pass, uh, simply because no point racing that hard in the first lap. Now I did notice here, uh, the corners, the Audi did have significant speed compared to the Mazda, but I quite simply couldn't keep up very well on the straights. That Mazda was just far too fast. Jumping ahead now to lap two, you can see again, I do catch up with Croak very quickly in these corners, but then I do make a mistake and cop myself a half a second penalty. We've now jumped ahead another lap later where I'm gonna serve this penalty and drop back. Now I can see on the left that Rory has moved his way up to 8th after starting in last place. And he had seen that I was watching so I knew his entire stream, knew I was playing. He's now in 7th. I had the uh, lovely palm sweats, mum spaghetti, feeling that something was hunting me. As you can see here, I do let slip second position. But then on lap four, Croak and APX have a tangle and I manage to regain the lead. However, Rory has moved up to sixth, now fifth. He's definitely catching fast. This was a C lobby and we all know Rory is an A plus driver. I then pit on lap 5, as well as Croak and Rory stayed out and he went to P2. You can see there Rory's in P2. I then completely fumble my first chicane after my pit stop, cold tyres, outbreak myself and lose a few positions. But I'm able to very quickly catch up to this Bugatti. He then makes a mistake and I'm able to slip past. Now remembering I'm in P6, some of these people have not pit. One lap, lap later we see Grim Wolf pitting as well as APX and Oz Youngy. It's now Croak, myself and Rory in first place. Rory still has not pit. Came to lap seven and Rory decided to pit. So Croak and I were able to get ahead. It was now a race to the finish and I could see on the minimap Rory was not very far behind me and he was closing in fast. He's definitely a far faster driver than me. As you can see here in the background hunting me down. This was a nerve wracking experience, making sure not to make any mistakes, knowing he was going to catch me. Now coming along the straight here, you can see Rory is right behind me. Now I pulled off this miraculous uh, kind of lucky move here, where I mostly swerved because I would have gone into the back of the Mazda, but I managed to make the corner. And Rory and Croak have a bit of a moment here where they both go wide and 
where he bumps into him a little bit. Now I think this might be what caused the end of the race, which we will get to. You can then see on board with Rory, he has caught the penalty. And this is where he gets the move done on Croke and takes second place. There's a little bit of a nudge there, but nothing too bad. Rory then goes wide and cops himself, we didn't show it there, but he cops himself another half second penalty. So Rory now is in second with a one second penalty. We're on lap 10 with only one lap left to go. Rory then serves his penalty. And then unfortunately, this happens. I'm not sure if you saw that, so here's a close up. Croke decided to take things into his own hands. Rory still retains second, but then he's driving off the track to avoid getting rammed a second time. And of course, Gran Turismo didn't like that and decided to reset him. This then meant my last lap was a rather boring one as I have a little moment there and spin the tyres. So I come into the first chicane all alone. As I essentially bring this race home, great to have the win, but sadly, we were robbed of what could have been an absolutely excellent last lap had Burry not been rammed off shamelessly. He would have caught me down probably in the last few corners and it would have been a stellar finish. It was great racing you Rory. Hopefully we'll get to do it again soon. If you enjoyed this one, please like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.